Listen, let's not talk about my hair or whatever that is. Hi. I just watched Villain starring Evelyn, who is my favorite of the KDA girls. Like, I want to be her. I want to date her. Like, as soon as I saw her outfit from Popstar, I was like, I need to cosplay her. I even, I can't show you because it's on my phone and I'm recording on my phone. But I have, for like a week now, I've had just, um, I found a website for her new wig with like the, with like the buns here and like the lilac color. It's really pretty. And I don't cosplay, but I'm very very tempted to get that wig. Also to play League with said wig. This video has beautiful details. Sometimes I'm like, what is she doing this with her hands? Like, I don't know if that's a thing she does in LOL, but like, this was kind of distracting, but she had like cool movements. Um, I think I mentioned when I reacted to more, I wasn't crazy about their faces, but Evelyn always looked really cool. Um, and there's that pose of her when she's like this with um, Ahi, I think, or Ari. And, ugh, it's just so good. Um, I shipped them really hard. I actually got, um, I just ordered it from Etsy. There's a mouse pad. You know how, like, I got a mouse pad with um, 2 B's butt for my boyfriend, and, you, like, the padding is the butt? I found one that someone made of Ari. I think it's Ari. I need to look that up so I don't look like a fool. Oh, it isn't her. Oh, fuck. Who's the other one? Oh, shit. KDA. Is it a Kali? Oh, it's a Kali. Okay, sorry. It is a Kali. I'm so sorry. There's that picture of her with Evelyn like this and a Kali, like, kind of, like, looking over her shoulder. Um. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't play lol. I just like looking at the videos. The music also bops. Um, I really like Madison Beer. Uh, Madison Beer. She's very good. Though I really liked um, B. Miller in The Baddest because I, I know B. Miller pretty well. I don't know Madison Beer that well, but she's very good. Um, I love this video. I love the details. I love the snakes. I love her new, like, beautiful car. I. This was, like, engineered for me as a fan. Like, as an outside fan, just a fan of KDA because it stars Evelyn, and I was like, ah, oh, it's like they knew. It's like they knew this is what I needed to get into this fandom and to get into the game. I'm gonna play it kind of quiet, but like, I love these visuals. I fucking love these visuals. She's just such a fucking boss. I want her like claw nails. She's the only, oh, I didn't mean to meet it. She's the only villain character, right? So I like that she has like her own song. Cause I was always curious. I'm like, why are you hanging out with these chicks? Everyone else seems like a hero type. Um, or I don't know, like anti-hero, but like Evelyn always seemed like a pure mischievous villain. Yeah, she does this with her hands and I'm like, that looks kind of weird. I know it's like her claws are very cool and that's all I would be doing if I had them. But like, this is like her natural thing. She should be used to it. I love when she swirls around the jewel. Ugh. Ugh, she has such an, she has such a beautiful body too. Like just, there's this like black and white room and her waist, oh my God. They said she's a villain, but she's not really doing anything in this video that feels villainy. She just sort of has like the appeal and like, you know, um, like just the idea of it. I also, I don't know what program they're using, but when they showed that scene with like the, like it has the heart and it goes poof. And then they show like this bench chair couch thing. I was like, that's fucking real. That looks like a real life product. Like you could go buy that like right now, but then you can see that they're having a lot of fun with the special effects and like what is real and what isn't by like morphing all these like chairs together. But like that looks fucking real. The chandelier looks fake, but like that, that couch, I couldn't get over it. Also, her lips are very plump. I also love her new car. She had a very cool car in Pop Stars, and it was very cool watching her drive. And then also when that scene where she's like, she has her silhouette and she's humongous and she pushes the car that she was in. I thought that was really cool. 
but I love this muscle car. It gives me such amazing Fast and Furious vibes, and I love, like, I don't even know what to call this, like, color it has. It's, like, kind of green, kind of purple, teal. It, like, blends. It's very shimmery, like, iridescent. It's beautiful. I'm, like, obsessed with it. It looks like, like those nail colors that change in different lights or things. And then it gets the snake skin, and that looks super cool. And that's also very iridescent, which makes sense. And I love the snakes in the scene. I don't know if, like, again, I know nothing about Lola. I know she has, like, these, like, curtain-like knives that she can control, and they're kind of like snakes, so I don't know if, like, a snake thing is her, like, motif. I'm all about it. And her eyes have always been, like, the slits, usually. But I really like the snakes. They must have had so much fun, like, making these edits. I also love the scene of it, like, going on her mouth, or going around her mouth, and then she's, like, she, like, opens her mouth a little bit, like, ah, yes, I love this. I love snakes. Not in a weird way, but, like, it's just so cool. Oh, she looks so cool. Oh, my God, this video is insane. They must have, I don't know how long this must have taken to render. But, like, again, there's, like, scenes where, like, you can tell, like, the snakes are clearly fake, but, like, there's something about the, like, texture on the wall and up against where the chair is sitting up against and like the lighting that looks amazing. Like, I don't know if there's a way you can watch these music videos with ray tracing. Um, I know Control, um, I think is available on Steam or on Switch or something with ray tracing. I think it was, maybe it was the PS5. I remember they were talking about it, but like, the, these music, this music video in particular and pop stars and control deserve to have ray tracing. I think there's also gonna be ray tracing in the Spider-Man Miles Morales game. Um, I've been avoiding spoilers for it. All I know is that he pets a cat because I think there's this count I follow. It's like, what can you pet in video games? And it's like, can you pet this? And it's the best one yet. I just don't like her doing this. This looks kind of weird. I get it, it's like mischievous. I kind of wish she was just like kind of tapping them together. I like it when she's like touching things with the claws. Again, I'm so tempted I'm so tempted to cosplay as her because I just want her claws. Even just to have one on, like, my finger. Oh, my God. She just... There's something about her that's very satisfying. I love her new hair color. Though I did love the pop pink, almost, like, venom pink of her hair. Oh, and I love her, like, breaking through this, like, thing that looks like, like a womb. Very weird. Oh, I love that. Oh, and I love... Oh, my God. There's this, um... There's this... She's on, like a red backdrop and like vines or tree branches start cracking out and she has her hands hands up and like it's it looks so like cool and like demonic and I love it and like oh god it reminds me of like the chilling adventures of Sabrina I think in the first or second episode of the show she has a vision I think of the 13 witches because she bites into the apple and like everything goes red and you see like them hanging and it, oh, it looks so cool I love it. Her lips are so plump. I love her walking out of the sheet, too, and then they have, like, a spotlight in the back so you can kind of see it. Like, yes, that probably would have worked with, like, a real person, too, but I feel like they were able to, like, really capture it with whatever this sheet material is supposed to be with, like, digital editing, which is so cool. And she has, like, you can see her canines, which I don't know, they seem a little more heightened. Again, it just could be a her thing. Ugh, I want this outfit. Again, I just want to be her. She's so fucking cool. I'm, like, obsessed with her. Again, I know nothing about Lol. I know nothing about her personally. But every time she's in a KDA video, I'm, like, immediately, like, Oh, my God, Evelyn. Oh, my God, Evelyn. Oh, my God, Evelyn. And again, she's not really doing anything villainous. And I know she is technically supposed to be a villain, but, like, she just looks, like, badass and, like, channeling, like, Christina Aguilera, Ariana Grande, maybe Dua Lipa. Ugh. But I love this. There's just something about her that's a little angular. There's, the, actually, now that I'm, like, on this, like, last room of her with, like, her really sparkly lips... They did something weird with her skin where it almost makes it look like she has acne, which doesn't make any sense because she's fucking flawless. I guess they were just trying to make it realistic and like the stretch of the skin as she's smiling, but it doesn't look 
flattering. You know what I mean? There's nothing about it. And again, I'm, I'm glad that they didn't show a lot of her face because again, the shadows really work with her figure, with her motif, with the attitude and the like the, of the song, but there is still something I find weirdly like elongated about their faces, especially in more. Like Evelyn looked good in most of the shots. Like again, when she's like resting her arm, resting her her chin and her hands on a a Kali's shoulder or on her back. Um, I ship them super hard. Again, I know nothing about either of them, but I love them so much. Um, but there's still something weird, even just by like having like just the light on like her chest and to here, just here, there's still something weird about her face. Maybe it's just like the angles and her cheekbones. It could just be the lighting, because again, she's supposed to look kind of creepy and maybe not human, but like, it, she still doesn't look right. Like, I feel like they looked perfect in the baddest like pictures. I know there wasn't a lot going on with the baddest video, because it's a lyric video, and they looked really good in pop stars, but there's something about their faces and more that doesn't look right. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? Um, you guys probably don't care that I'm talking about this. Again, I don't do anything with Lil, so this is just purely an outside perspective. Like, I don't even know anything about music. I just really like music. I like the song. It's very pop. It feels... I don't want to say it's Billie Eilish, but, like, there's something about it that feels very, like, almost her, except it's not as, like, high-pitched, and I, people are going to be like, how dare you compare my and beer to Billie Eilish? But, um, I don't know. There's something about it. It's, like, it's giving me vibes. It's, like, vibing. I don't know. I don't know if that's an insult. I hope that's not an insult. It's not supposed to come off as an insult. Um, oh, oops. But it's just, oh, my God. I love that. I love that. Oh, I love that they're focusing on Evelyn. I love Evelyn. So, I'm very happy. Um, oh, there's another song. There's another song. Oh, my God, there's two other songs. I'll show you the drum go dumb. Fuck it, I'll 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 react to those. Um unless they have a video. Hmm. Fuck it, let's just listen to it. So I haven't listened to these yet. Who's Annika Wells? I don't know these. I know twice. crazy about this one so far. It just sounds very, like, I don't know. It just sounds very different from, like, the KDA that, the KDA that we've seen in Pop Stars and in More and The Baddest. This feels a lot more poppy, while the other one was, like, EDM pop with, like, attitude. So let me, I wasn't crazy about that. Let's, I, I didn't listen to all of it. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just curious. Drum go dumb. I already like the sound of this better. See, this feels more KDA. Again, I'm not an expert. Again, I'm sort of an outside fan looking in. But, see, this is more EDM. And again, I'm not really a big fan of EDM, but like, I don't know. See, this one's a lot better. There's something about it that's more fun, bouncy. And I'm not just saying that because it's a drum and you can hear. But there's something, like even the vocals complement the drum well. That could be Ahi's part. Ari.
Yeah, this is a lot more fun and on brand, I feel like, with KDA. I feel like I'll Show You is not as fun. Or I don't know, it's a different fun. Villain, I think, is my favorite. If I had to, like, rank all the songs, I'd probably do the baddest villain pop star more. And I don't know if there's been other songs. I mean, I guess, and then I guess drum and I'll show you. I don't know if there's been like other songs in between. Yes, I know there's a ton of other songs just for League of Legends, but I'm talking specifically KDA. The other songs I think are a lot of fun. Um, the Takeover, I love with, um, it's not my favorite song, but I love that a Day to Remember's lead singer, Jeremy, is getting spotlighted. So that makes me happy. Um, but it's not my favorite song because, well, the, the song is fun and the lyrics. And I do like Max Schneider as well. I don't know Henry, so apologies for not knowing Henry. But I think the video reminds me too much of, like, addiction. And so I feel like if someone saw that music video and their kid was like, Can I get League of Legends on my whatever? The parent would be like, hmm. No, so you know what I mean uh, so yeah that's what I wanted to talk about sorry if this is not really your cup of tea but this is just something I saw um, so yeah that was really fun uh, tell me what you guys think um, happy Friday <laughs>